Hey everyone, we're gonna keep going with uh, BEC. Uh, today we're gonna switch pace, get out of CRM for a little bit and go into forecast and budgeting. I know that's probably something you were thinking about two months ago at the end of the year. Uh, it's the beginning of the year, but uh, it's a fun topic. So we decided to pick it up and uh, get into it. So I'm gonna explore some really cool aspects of Business Central with uh, with forecasting. It's all called budget for some reason, not forecasting. I like the word forecasting better, uh, but it's budget, so we take it as it is. But let's talk a little bit about the structure. So um, when we have uh, Business Central, we have budget. And I'm gonna say this is item budget. So what is an item budget? Item budget is uh, forecast as well. Um, quantities and amounts that you're going to be selling. So if this is a sales item budget, that you're going to be selling of a particular item, item group or something like that. Uh, and then we have, as you're familiar with, we have the ILEs, which are the item ledger entries, which is the actual transactional data. So if we do sales item budgets and ILEs together, or we put them together, we can put them together into something called uh, sales uh, budget analysis. So we'll just call it sales analysis. And that's very similar to the analysis views. So the analysis views work with finance, but the sales analysis actually work with items and therefore you can go into quantities and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the uh, system and show, you know, see how it works. Okay, so we're gonna dive into the forecasting, budgeting, analysis and all of that now. And I feel like uh, Business Central or NAV or Navision, if you go all the way back to that level, started out with the account schedules and, uh, and that was great. And then analysis views came along with dimensions and now we're sort of spinning more into that area with the uh, things like sales budgets, purchase budgets, sales analysis reports, inventory analysis and stuff like that. So, and that's basically what we're gonna dive into more, uh, those areas. To start out with, uh, we have to take a moment and think about these uh, and, and really understand that it's mostly based on dimensions. And dimensions is a very powerful concept in Business Central. So just quickly, I'm going to go here into a general ledger setup where we set up the main dimensions. And I have whole videos about dimensions. So if you're not sure what that is, you can definitely watch those. Um, but we have set up the global dimensions to be department and customer group right here. And that is important because um, I don't have to specify that in, for example, in the budget uh, because it's already counted in as the main dimension. So, so if I'm creating a new budget or something that's dependent on dimensions, if it's a global dimension, it's already there. I just have to add in the extra dimensions. Um, and they are sort of the most important dimensions of the system. So with that, if I go into, for example, sales budgets, and I'm going to create a sales budget right now, I go into new, uh, just create a coffee mug budget, as budget. So coffee mug sales budget. And so here, if I actually try to select the customer group, I'd get an error because it's already part of the global dimension. So I don't want to do that. Um, but I do want more dimensions than just the customer group. I'd like to have region in there <clears throat> and also item group. So I have basically the customer group, the region and the item group that I'm doing a sales budget for. So if I close out of here, uh, and get into my sales budget and hit edit budget. So the sales budget is sort of like a sales forecast. Um, and again, I think in a previous video, I sort of laughed about this as well. You know, budget, you normally think about budget and finance, forecast, you think about forecast and sales. Forecast is a more positive term, right? 
Um, budget is like we have to stay within budget. Forecast, we got to beat the forecast. So it's... Um, but they decided to call this budget for some reason. That's fine. So here we have as limes the item. And uh, we are counting quantity in the cells right here. And periods are across. So this is 2019 uh, all the way out. Why well, don't we just go to 2020 since we are there already. And I can start going ahead and saying how much we're going to sell of the Inacta coffee mug in 2020. Now, since I have dimensions here like customer uh, group uh, and, and region and item group, etc. I could actually set up a region and I'm going to just talk about the Northeast and I can say a customer group and I'm going to talk about small and once I, once I fix these, if I put in the number now, let's say we're going to do uh, 500 coffee mugs in January, uh, 550 in February, uh, 600 in March and then summer is coming along so we go a little bit down right so 350 300 we got to get into the cold brew at that point uh 200 let's say 100 in july 100 and then 150 and we go up again uh up to 300 in september october 400 in october and then we have the season so uh we're gonna do maybe 700 there so now i have this so this is this is the budget or the forecast, however you want to look at it, for the Enacta coffee mug for the year 2020 for Northeast small. Now, if I want to do, um, let's say, a different region, actually, let's just do a different uh, customer group. Let's do that and stay within the Northeast. So we'll go into medium. Uh, and if I select that, you can see it disappears out. So let's say medium is a bit higher. So that's like 1,000, uh, 1,100, and 1,200. So and we'll get into stay at 1,200. Then we go down to 800, 700, 600. Um, stay at 600. And then 650, 700. And then 900 and then we'll do something great here 1500 all right so now if i take away the customer group filter you'll see that it, it actually sums it up so it's and if i drill into these numbers you can see there are two entries done and those entries are um, 1500 and you can see it's medium small so, and that's pretty much it to set up the sales budget.